Roaming the muddy swamps and rivers along tropical and subtropical regions in Africa, Australia and Asia, mudskippers' family Oxudacinae are land-loving fish that can spend as much time, if not more, on land as they do in water. However, this isn't just a preference. Curiously enough, a prolonged stay in water can even drown this fish. To combat drowning, mudskippers tend to spend their days perched on mangrove roots and rocks, searching for their next meal of insects, small crustaceans and worms, all while maintaining a hydrated coat of mud. Large googly eyes and a pair of pectoral fins that work like front legs are only two of the multifaceted adaptations. These finger-sized fish have made to survive in two completely different realms. <laughs> Not only can mudskippers see well above and below water, the positioning of independently movable eyes on the top of their heads gives them a panoramic view of their surroundings. This is a handy adaptation for fish that are exposed to both marine and terrestrial predators. Pectoral fins in mudskippers have been modified to take the weight of their upper bodies, allowing them to walk hop and jump on land as well as skip over the surface of the water when they need to make a run for it. Although having the typical body form of any other gobied fish, these front fins allow the mud skipper to actively skip across muddy surfaces and even climb low-hanging tree branches and scrubs. Mud skippers have also been found to be able to leap distances of up to 24 inches by laterally flexing and pushing with its tail. They can breathe, feed, socialize, and thrive on land so long as they are within reach of a little water or wet mud flats. A thin film of water on their body is always maintained. And to ensure this, mud skippers will repeatedly roll sideways over wet mud. To remain flexible in their use of both land and watery habitats, Mud skippers have retained gills to breathe when underwater, but they can switch to breathing through the linings of their skin, mouth, and throat when they emerge outside.
burrows are a crucial refuge for mud skippers who build elaborate tunnels, sometimes with multiple openings at the surface. Burrows allow them to hide from predators at high tide. In many species, burrows are also used for mating and brooding their eggs. Housing eggs in burrows is no easy task. With constantly depleting oxygen levels in the submarine tunnels, adults will routinely swim up to the surface to gulp a chamber full of air to reoxygenate their burrows. Mudskippers can grow up to 12 inches long, and most are a brownish-green colour that ranges anywhere from dark to light. During mating seasons, the males will also develop brightly coloured spots in order to attract females, which can be red, green or blue. For many male mudskippers, finding a mate is all about how high he can fly. Despite the muddy and not-so-romantic environment, a high jump can get him noticed in the mudskipper dating pool. Mudskippers are also quite territorial, so spotting a duel between a couple of mudskippers is not uncommon if a neighbour gets too close. The skirmish typically includes their mouths gaping open and their dorsal fins being raised while they leap towards each other in aggression. Some species of mudskipper even let out a fish equivalent to a battle cry. The next time you find yourself near a muddy swamp or river, make sure to keep an eye out for these land-loving fishes. The mud skipper is just one of the amazing and weird animals currently roaming Earth. But like all animals, they need our help to create a cleaner environment. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to our channel for more content on amazing wildlife. Tap the notification bell so you don't miss upcoming videos. Be sure to leave a comment below and let us know what your favourite part of the video was. When we work together to appreciate these beautiful creatures, we just might be able to ensure their survival. See you on the next wildlife adventure.